Okay, we're heading south down the M5. Okay, so I managed to make my way down a huge, huge slope uh, through a secret tunnel, cave, cave. Um, and we find ourselves on what seems to be pretty much a deserted sandy beach. I'm gonna stop here for a while. So, it's been quite a long day, about four or five hours driving. Anyway, right, we're mapping out what we're gonna do tomorrow. So, um, very handy map, found a very handy map here. Uh, and we're gonna try and cover some grounds. So I just marked off, um, just marked off where we're gonna to go tomorrow. So, let me show you, okay. Okay, so we are here, St. Austell's, um, and this is kind of like the, the mid part of Cornwall. Um, so the plan is, tomorrow we are going to drive uh, about an hour and a half, it should take, all the way to St. Ives, uh, which is a pretty little village up here. Uh, next, from St. Ives, we're gonna make our way down to Land's End, so that's the most westerly point. From Land's End, we're gonna stop off at the theatre, which is kind of like a, an open air theatre, it's an attraction. We're going past it, so we'll stop, we'll have a look anyway. From there to St. Michael's Mount, 
which is just here and then we go all the way down hopefully to the highlight of the day which will be lizard's point uh, where we can hike up to uh, see some quite spectacular coves now i'm not quite sure how long this is going to take me it's probably going to take me most of the day so uh, wherever we do anything else that day remains to be seen there we go yesterday was a lot of driving and a lot of walking but it was a brilliant day um today much more of the same so let's go the last stop of my day and probably the best stop as well um, seen pictures but it is absolutely gorgeous in real life uh, 